Need fiber? Uh, huh? Uh, <laughs> ah, come on, it was better than that. When you absolutely have to have long distance transmission of network data with little fear of interference, you need to go to fiber optic cabling. Fiber optic cable uses light. Light is transferred down a little tiny piece of glass that's so thin it's bendable and runs for incredibly long distances. The longest fiber standards that we use today are in excess of 40 kilometers per run, which compared to unshielded twisted pair, which is usually no more than about 100 meters, can make a big difference. Fiber has some big benefits over UTP. The big thing is, is that fiber optic is not subjected to interference, in particular, radio frequency or electromagnetic interference. So it doesn't conduct electricity, fiber optic is good stuff. Now, for the Network Plus exam, we really need to know two big things. Number one, you need to know the difference between multi-mode versus single mode, and number two, you need to know the connectors. Multi-mode and single mode simply mean the way that the light is transferred. I'll make it easy for you. Multi-mode uses LEDs for light, while single mode uses laser beams. So, in, most of the time when you see orange cable, that's going to be multi-mode, and single mode tends to be yellow, but you can't even guarantee that particular one. Now, it, these work pretty much the same as unshielded twisted pair. You can have fiber optic hubs and switches and routers and network cards. In fact, I, I don't have a network card. Here's a picture of one. And this particular network card, as you can see, is fiber optic. It has two connectors, and that's important. A fiber optic connection only sends or receives, so that's why you always see two connectors on any fiber optic. Okay, so if we're always going to have two connectors, one thing you need to be aware of is that most of the time you have what's called duplex cabling. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If you look at this cabling, you're going to see that it's two pieces. It almost looks kind of like a lamp cord, and that's because fiber optic always comes in twos, so it tends to come in this duplex type connection. It doesn't have to. Here, for example, is a single connection. And in this case, uh, we would have to get a whole other cable to make a run between my network card and my switch or whatever it might be. Now that we understand the difference between multi-mode and single mode, let's go ahead and take a look at the most common fiber optic connectors. Now be aware that there are a lot of different fiber optic connectors. There's over a hundred different connectors that are used. I'm going to show you all the ones that will show up on the Network Plus, which is also about 99% of all the connectors you're ever going to run into, but be aware that there are more. Let's start with the oldie goldies. This round connector right here is an ST connector. ST. Now these little black things are actually just protectors. In the middle of that white thing is the actual fiber optic itself. It's, it's way too small to even show on this camera. STs are round connectors, and the other oldie goldie is this guy right here. These are SC connectors. And they both came out around the same time. It's been about 25, gosh, almost 30 years ago, and these connectors have been around for a while. The downside to these types of connectors is that they're physically large, and so you take up a big space on your network card or your switch or whatever device it is because you always run these in pairs. So newer types of connector technologies have come along that seem to work a little bit better, at least in terms of usage of space. The first one I want to show you is right here. This is an LC connector. So the LC connector, as you can see, oh here, let me actually make a comparator here so you can get an idea. You can see that it's much smaller than the older style connectors. And uh, so they call this high density. There's a lot of different names for this type of connector. But this is LC, and that's Larry Charlie. The other type of connector is right here. This is an MTRJ connector. The MTRJ connector has a, well, arguably, a passing resemblance to an RJ45. And the important thing you need to appreciate is that this connector has two fiber optic cables in it, not just one. I don't know if you can really, really hard to see on this camera, but it, you run two fiber optic cables into that. So these MTRJ and LC connectors tend to be the more modern types of cables that you see on a lot of them. So do keep in mind that you will still also see ST and SC connectors out there. So make sure you know ST, SC, LC, and MTRJ connectors. So 
why wouldn't people use fiber optic for everything? Why doesn't it completely usurp twisted pair? Well, a couple of problems. Number one, it's expensive. It's hard to make terminations and things like that, although it's a lot easier than it was, say, even 10 years ago. So that's one issue. The other problem with fiber optic is that it's pretty fragile. Mo the way I've got this all bundled up like this, I'm pretty much guarantee you I've actually broken the fiber optic in there, and it's probably not useful anymore. I'd actually have to put a tester on here to verify whether it's good or not. And that is the one problem with fiber optic is that it can't handle real sharp bends. You can actually bend it too much and you can see the light leakage come out on a fiber optic cable. But other than that, fiber optic's pretty cool and it's used all over the place. I've seen it used in everything from uh, dams to fighter planes. Fiber optic is cool stuff.